enter which car no, this car so if people will put um something white and catch my put it in my nose and i will sleep off <laughs> i want to be like excuse me sam I'm not like shut up i was like fighting my battle and i'm telling you what you should do that you should let it go and you're telling me sh sh the pressure is the pressure is becoming too much i i withdraw and i will start down like Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wemi Mo, and if it's your first time, you're, you're welcome. Okay, so I've been A W O L, the pronunciation of that thing, for about two months, I think. I'm not sure, but my last video was probably in July. So I've been off due to some reasons that I can't really share right now because I don't want trouble. I actually recorded the video but i didn't like it because i had eyebrows under my eyes because i was tired when i filmed it right now i'm even tired too but that is not what we're doing here today so instead of giving you guys a silly explanation even though i feel like it might not be silly but you guys will understand i am here to tell you people something that happened to me like this happened last week this I think, was it last week yes it was last week it happened to me and the experience you know i had to share it but this holiday i've actually been like driving a lot i run errands few errands and all of that but i've never actually gone into town like town like office where people are like where people work and all of that i've not gone there i normally drive around my area and drive around my area like go get something in shop right go and do this let's go drive to church and all of that so like Yes, that kind of driving. I knew how to drive. I got my learner's permit and permission to drive because without the learner's permit, you can't actually. Um, without learner's permit, you have to learn. The learner's permit is just for you to learn how to drive, and you have to have someone beside you. But when I get went to FRC office, they gave me um the learner's permit and like an evidence that I've actually passed the test. I don't know that stuff. I did not do any test. But I was like, okay, since you guys have this stuff now, now let's. Let me take you out. Let's go and, you know, you be my driver and all of that. Sure, no problem. So this particular day, I was supposed to go out with my friend. But, um, I was supposed to go out with my friend. So I was like, okay, since you're going out and I want to do something, you drive us to town. Fine and good. We drove to town. I even went to, we even went, we even went to supply water safe. And everything was fine and good. Good. The movie I just stopped them. I'm like, where your papers? We gave them to them, and they let us go. Everything was going smoothly. Everything was going fine. I'm not see my friend. I was supposed to go to Samsung office to repair my phone. I met my brother's phone, and also, yes, yeah, that was the only place I was supposed to go. Then after that, I was going to meet up with my friend, but she was busy. She hadn't finished what she was doing. She was still in where she was, so we couldn't meet up. So I just I was like, okay, let me go run the other area. Let me just go to the Samsung office. But my mom had to pick up something at Wuse Market, so I had to at the market. Wuse Market, Market I had to help her to go. And, I was like, okay, now since I'm going towards that side, like. This is we'll say market. This is market here. Yeah. This is market in this side. This is market here. Yeah. This is market in this side. This is market. We just go under to go to where I'm going. So I was like, I'm easily go to market, come down from the bridge and go to where I'm I was going. So my mom was like, okay, don't go anywhere without um the learner stuff. So she drew me one. She drew me one L. Then the second, like one of the L was inside the car. Fine and good. Okay now. That Mabuchi Bridge, people that live in Abuja, the, the bridge immediately after Mabuchi Bridge is, you see, we are going to a Sharaton and Central area. That's the bridge to Wese Market. This journey is wasn't up to 10 minutes, but it's usually, that was on Wednesday. There was, yeah, there's usually traffic on that bridge, like always, every time, every time because of the markets that is there. So, at the foot of the bridge, there's this road safety, a road safety guy was, I was like, oh, no problem, and all of that. Then these particular guys that call themselves Amak something, they stopped me. I was like, <laughs> I knew from the way they were going that they were going to stop me, and I wasn't about to. I got to the front of my car, if not in front of the car, if not, I would have cleared him because I wouldn't have actually stopped because I was like, road safety just passed me and they didn't stop me. So who the hell are you? I was driving a bus, I was driving a Sienna car, so like, I'm never driving that car again. At the boot of the car, 
at the boot of the car okay you see in a car you can fold the back seat or the cars and at that place my mom uses it to carry water because she sells water so she uses it to carry water so that day we took it we took from a warehouse uh, a warehouse we took water from the warehouse she was taking it she was bringing it home so and she does this every single time every time so people have been like do you know is a crime to fold the seat of your boots your car is not if your car is a private car it's not commercial you need a ticket and in my life you need a ticket in my mind i'm like i need a ticket for my own private car to carry water inside my boot like it's my car i need to decide whether i should fold the seat or not so what are you saying I was not like, what do you mean? Like, I didn't understand. And I was like, do you not like want to enter your car? Like, Let's go. I was like, go to where? You want to see Tani? Enter which car? This car? So if people who put um, something, white and catch wrap, put it in my nose, and I will sleep off. <laughs> no. I locked the doors of the car. I was like, I'm not going anywhere with you. Like, what do you guys want? Okay, fine. I was not patient with them. That's one thing I, I think I should have done because I was like, why the heck are you stopping me? Like, who are, who, like, who are you? Why would you stop me? What is your problem? I do not know you from anywhere. You are not the federal road safety. Neither are you the vehicle inspection office. Yeah, you. So why are you stopping me? Guy on one side was trying to be reasonable with me. Then the other one, I don't even know if you understand English. He's a malam. I could see it. I, I, like, all those aboki boys at times, I think they have power. They are so, so annoying. Like, Ah, they are so annoying because of the little power they have. They think they can oppress everybody. Cute. I've not even said anything. This guy removed the plate numbers at the front. And the Lena, um, this thing. I was like, what the hell? Like, and I didn't want to come down from the car because it would just be crazy if I have. I was like, give me this thing. I was so tense because I didn't expect, like, I was... My body was shaking because I didn't want to be in this particular situation. Mind you, this place was like approximately like five minutes to my parents' office because my parents like walk in like almost the same place, just different buildings. So like I called my mom first. She wasn't picking. I'll pick now. She's not pick. Like I want to get out of this place. Like I don't want to be here. And the other guy is taking the plane number. Like if they actually sat out to talk to me. I'd be like, okay, 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 this is what you know. I might not have listened, but I really would not have listened because why the hell are you stopping me? But you just, you, you're not even trying to explain to me what is going on. You just, you're saying, you're from a stubborn abbey, you're from a stubborn abbey, you just remove, remove the page number. So that's what even made me more tense. So, like, I called my dad, I called my dad, and my dad called people, called some. Some of his colleagues are working in and they came in like my dad was in a meeting so like i then called my mom i was like what's going on so the guy was like this is my mom's car i like to think that this is my mom's car the other one that was being reasonable and i said okay okay let me talk to your mom so he talked to her he explained to her that this is what was going on this is what was going on i was like oh well I'm not okay no problem go and pay the fee mind you the fee i was supposed to pay was 200 naira 200 naira he lied to me that it was 100 naira good and fine i was ready to pay i just wanted to get out of there but before that i already called my dad and these guys told me that they were on his way the person who that i called said they were on his, that he told them to come and like rectify me out of the situation way on their way so i called him like okay since my mom has settled it let's go like i can go but they were like don't worry i almost here which was okay which was okay and i just didn't want them to like when they come they won't see me there because like, like i should enter the car and when he said you should enter the car again this time it was because my mom said that we should go and pay for ticket i was still very skeptical about allowing me to enter the car so god help i see god did not want anybody to enter that car like honestly i felt like they were kidnappers even though that pit, the road was full everywhere that traffic was still there because it was like it was a traffic light so like god did just not want them to enter that car because i honestly felt that they would have kidnapped me for real because they kept on the guy kept on insisting i was like oh yeah let's enter your car and god was like this way i thought when my husband should pay the money and then he not said let's enter the car and go then I was like, okay, now the matter has ended. Like, let me allow him to enter inside the vehicle. I was very skeptical about it. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't like, I wasn't at peace with opening the door for him. Then I see, when I think about it, like, I think God actually saved my life. One man came, I called him in the start of Justin because 
or knowing to the man that I would have paid the money, he started fighting for me and started insulting the guys and all of that. So it turned into like another round of argument. Like this argument, I wasn't even involved. They just started insulting each other. Both of them were like, "You aren't supposed to let her go. She's just she's supposed to let her go. She's just doing her business. Like her business. What is this? Like it was trying to like help me defend me. Then I was like, ex I wanted to be like, excuse me, Sam. I was like, shut up. I was like. Two minutes you're fighting my battle and i'm telling you what you should do that you should let it go and you're telling me to sh i was i was sure i was like it was an it was an elderly man so i decided to be re respectful after they finished arguing the first round of argument but i think i don't it was a little bit blurry in my head well all i need i was getting tense i can't work under pressure like if pressure if the pressure is becoming too much i I withdraw and I will start crying. Like that's why I try as much as much as possible to stay from any stay away from anything that will like make me feel pressurized or all of that. I don't like pressure or anything like that. This guy that was being reasonable that spoke to my mom came to the window. I was like, what? Chief for arguing. And I said, call your mom. I was like, why? I said, call your mom ah you are kidding me no you were that man was kidding me i was you know like i was scared but i was still like what the hell like i was so scared but i was like what is going on like is he me talking to like that like who are you why are you talking to me like that am i your wife why the hell are you talking to me like that i'm swear i'm swearing I swear a lot in this video bro Along the line, my dad guys came. There were like four of them that came. My dad people, they actually do some. They, 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 I love them because they will rectify, they will bring out of any situation. But but before they came, everything was so overwhelming and they kept on arguing and arguing and arguing. I just started crying. Like, I actually started crying. <laughs> you didn't get me the first time. I burst into tears and I was crying. Like, there and there, I started crying. I was like, Tears were just streaming down my face. And that guy's like, wait, 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 why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Like, ah, it is after this time they used to do sha sha sha. It seemed got resolved, but I was still crying. I was still crying. The road safety guy were the road safety guys that that ignored everything before. When they saw that it was it did, like Nigerians really know how to not mind their business and they also they don't know when to mind their business and they don't know when to put their mouth inside conversation. Like, when you're supposed to be a matter of conversation, they will not. But when you're not supposed to, that's when they will. Like, it was so it was so annoying that those real city guys were seeing what these guys were doing to me. And they saw Lena at the back of my car. And they did not do any single thing about it until it was becoming too much. And I started crying. The other guy, I was like, you should give me my license plate. I've already told you before I'll go. Give me the license, as a license plate. The plate number of the car. Eh? Give me the plate number, let me be going. So my dad guys told me that they should come down, they should come down. They were still arguing. I called that man that, that made the argument start a minister of justice because in the process of trying to fight for me, he made everything like worse. Yes, that was it. In the process of trying to fight for me, he made everything a little bit worse. Fine. But then I was calling my mom because my mom was like, what's going on and all of that stuff. My dad was in a meeting so I couldn't call him. She was like, and... I left there, just, I was trying to call my mom. Just, I haven't driven so much to the front. Received me, told me to park. I was like, Jesus, Jesus. My phone was in my hand. Although it was on loudspeaker, it was on loudspeaker, it was in my hand. So, they said I'm talking on the phone. But, I didn't put the phone in my ear, so I didn't even understand them. Sha, but whatever. It was still wrong. I was like, hey, another wave of tears. Like... <sighs> then one of the road safety guys that just said to me, just like please allow her to go, please just allow her to go. I've never been more grateful for that guy. Like his name was Ibrahim, I think. We are saying this. Thank you for helping my ass that day. And it was it was no. I cried. I don't know how I so I don't know how I, I drove into that market because I was crying. No. 
tears were streaming down my face i was i was crying so much when i parked the car i think that i found a good parking space on time i cried i cried eh? i cried yeah so that was what happened to me today after that time the driving experience was actually after that i still went to samsung office even though i almost crushed one out of this car but it was it was it was it was nice it was it was okay and since and since that day i didn't drive until yesterday and yesterday was um no since that day i didn't drive until until sunday until sunday then i drove yesterday yesterday's own i went to town too but it was i was driving a small car yesterday so it was it was better oh anyways except if it's important i'm not driving the bus that's siena to town again if you want to drive with this abuja you have to be a mad person that's what it would be like you do madness for them if they do madness for you to do madness for them but i'm still grateful that i didn't open the door for any of them to come in because it was it just wasn't comfortable i was scared this is abuja i don't i don't trust anybody in abuja apart from friends my friends and my family i don't trust any single person the streets are rough i'm still a small girl it's obvious i was i'm still a baby so like yeah that's that's what happened that's what that's what happened so i'm gaining confidence every day i just need to grow more balls more confidence then yeah that's it oh so thank you guys for watching my story times if you guys want to see more like this comment 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 if you came this far just comment or leave a thumbs up or just subscribe if you're a subscriber i will not promise not to run away but I want to actually be committed but that will depend you see if you do after this one that will determine whether i'm continuing so i'll see you guys in my next video bye i love you